Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for February 5th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so it may be February 5th, it may have been February 4th, it may be February 10th, whatever it is, you know. The timing is fluid on these, and this is for whoever it resonates with at the time. It may or may not be for you. Typically, these readings are for whoever needs them the most. These readings tend to connect with people that comment, you know, people that really watch me on a regular basis. That's who I connect with. So people that comment, you know, and they're constantly coming back, I find that they are the ones that resonate with my readings the most. It's because they're sending me their energy. They keep on, you know, um, putting themselves into my energy field when they comment, when they like, whatever, when they comment mostly. You know, I read every single comment. I approve my comments. So when I read the, I also read the name. So now I'm connected to you. So that's what's happening here is every time we could, the more people, so I connect with the people that connect with me. You know what I mean? That's who these readings tend to resonate with. So let's see what comes up. February 5th. Just in, just in, just a message I'm picking up on. What do we got? No, there's something could be emotional. I mean, the Queen of Cups reverse, it's like you could be there's something emotional. There's something could be happening that brings about some tears or brings about some feelings that maybe even uncomfortable feelings, whatever it is. This is a uh, almost like emotional discontent or a withdrawal of some sort. Hurt. I don't know, let's find out. Ooh. Oh. Eight of Swords reversed. Judgment Day. Woohoo. Interesting. A wake up call. Somebody is going to get a wake up call that may make them emotional. Maybe there's an epiphany or there's a revelation or something. It's like something is going to happen. Some sort of truth is going to be revealed that makes somebody feel emotional, unhappy, all over the place. Somebody may have decided to go in a different direction. To get the rest of the cards here, going after what I deserve, bringing balance back. Somebody is oh, wanting to bring balance back to a situation. The only way to do that is to break free. This is freedom from a toxic situation. You guys see what's mirroring each other. Somebody is breaking free from a bond or a toxic situation that has. Manipulate, kept them stuck, kept them trapped. Interesting. Somebody is going in a new direction by themselves. Like taking a leap of faith, taking a risk. Somebody is taking a risk to bring balance back to their life by. Dropping something. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, somebody is, is definitely giving up, okay? Somebody is giving up on something. It's like there's, they've been weighed down for too long. There's no more excitement. There's no more passion. 
It's like there's no more motivation to play this game anymore. Whew. Look at that. Yep. Somebody is not. It's like they're not. They don't have any desire. They don't have any desire to put in any effort. I'm giving up. Somebody is giving up on a situation that has kept them trapped for a long time. It's like they've had some sort of awakening. They've had some sort of epiphany. And they're seeing the truth of a situation. And they know that it's time to bring balance back. They know that it's time to reevaluate. It's time to give to themselves. I got to do what's right for me. And start over in a new direction. I feel like we have somebody here that is dropping a very tricky situation. They're dropping a trickster. They're dropping a deceitful infra individual. Or they're dropping deception, period. I think somebody has been lacking balance for too long and it's like, I can't do this anymore. I'm not going to let myself be manipulated and lied to by something that is so toxic, by a lie, by something, by ego. I mean, this is the devil is ruled by shadow. It's ruled by ego. It's ruled by greed. So I really feel like somebody is definitely throwing away or giving up on just putting out the fire. It's like, I'm, I'm putting this out. I'm not doing this anymore. I don't have any desire to put any energy into this toxic situation anymore. Somebody is dropping a manipulator. Dropping it. Dropping you. I am. Somebody has been holding on to a dead end situation. And it's like now they don't have any desire to even hold on to it anymore. It's just letting it fall away. Seriously. I got to do what I got to do to bring balance and peace and harmony back to my life. So I feel like somebody is has had a wake-up call or they're getting a wake-up call. Maybe they're waking up to a call that makes them very emotional and allows them to release and start over. This is releasing a toxic situation. It is. It's, it's like starting over. We have Aries. We have Capricorn. We have Gemini. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Scorpio here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries. We have everybody. We have everybody. It looks to me like somebody is reevaluating their path forward and deciding to go their own way. I deserve more than this. And I'm not going to lie to myself anymore. This is lying to yourself. I'm not going to lie to myself. I'm not going to be deceived. I'm not going to let myself be deceived. I have no desire to put in any more energy here. Woo! So, you know, we have a karmic situation. Somebody has been treated unfairly. And now we, now they're being dropped. They're being dropped. There's been a terrible, this is a terrible injustice, right? It's a terrible injustice. It's like things have been unbalanced, like I said. Things have been unbalanced and lacking fairness for too long. Somebody has been put in an unfair situation that has caused them to feel or caused them to be or allowed them to be, or they allowed themselves to be manipulated, lied to. Somebody ha is getting some sort of karma 
for not being a very good person, <laughs> for playing tricks, for being sneaky. Karma's a true bitch. Somebody is getting their karma for lying, for deceiving. I mean, I'm not kidding. Somebody is getting karma for deception. Okay? Somebody may be turning down an opportunity just saying, I don't want this. I don't want this in my life. I don't want to be lied to. You know, there's been a, somebody's been really, really dishonest here. Okay? We have somebody that has been really dishonest, and it's like the truth is coming out, the truth is being revealed. This is the truth being revealed about a toxic individual. So I feel like there's going to be some sort of uh, secret or some sort of conflict that comes about that forces someone to go in a new direction or makes somebody move makes somebody you know decide to step out somebody's getting exactly what they deserve and it's called karma getting what you deserve karma somebody is going to be getting some karma today and it's because they didn't act with integrity. They lied. They hid the truth. They played games. They manipulated. And karma never loses an address. So the fool is starting over. On your own. Head it out. Oh, the emperor reversed. Anger. Yeah. There could be... This could, this could cause some anger. This could cause some anger because things are now out of control. Something could spiral out of control because all of a sudden this truth is revealed... And it makes somebody really, really angry. So just be prepared. Be prepared. I feel like there's some sort of karma that is going to be delivered that makes somebody really upset that this truth has come out. Beware. And now they may have to start over completely. They're going to have to regain balance after this uproar. Yeah, there's going to be a conflict. There is absolutely going to be some sort of conflict that comes about. And it's going to be unexpected. There's going to be an unexpected conflict that comes about that probably pushes somebody over the edge. Pushes them right over the edge. Somebody's going on their own. They're going their own way. Deciding, you know, I'm better off on my own than dealing with this toxic lie. Yep. I'm taking a break. I'm letting go. I'm letting go of the idea that you could be true, that you could be honest. And I'm going to withdraw. 
and take time to recuperate. So I feel like somebody is letting go of somebody that lied to them, tricked them, deceived them because they receive some sort of truth probably that breaks their heart. It's heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. Whatever this is, it's going to bring balance back, believe it or not. Everything happens for a reason. There's a purpose. There's a purpose. I feel like there's going to be some opposition that comes about that forces somebody to evolve, to make a change. I see that there's been some addictions that have been affecting somebody's judgment. But it's like now, now it doesn't matter about the addictions because the truth is on the table. And the truth is about to be revealed and it hurts. We have a hurtful truth being revealed that's going to leave somebody truly independent. Because I'm worth more. I know what I'm worth. I'm worth so much more. I'm worth more. I know what I'm worth. I'm not worth lies and deception and sneaky, shady behavior. So I feel like we have somebody that could get angry because the truth is revealed, so beware. I feel like somebody has been lying and the shit is about to hit the fan. And karma's about to be served on a silver platter. So, be prepared. Be prepared. Let's get one of my favorite cards and see what comes up. Yep, somebody's dishonesty is about to be revealed. And that is no joke. We have two cards, actually three cards. That we have some serious karma being delivered on this day. It's a karmic awakening. All right? That's what we got here. The injustice of the past is coming to the surface. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. I don't know where that came from, but whatever. Could be a man because we have an upset man. We have somebody here who's going to be really upset, put it that way. Things are no longer, they can't control this situation. It's out of control. Oh my goodness. Surrendering to the journey. Release control. Son of a bitch. We were just talking about control. You know how they do this? They always do this. Sur surrendering to the journey. Release control. Yeah, you're going to release control. Or somebody is because they ain't going to have a choice. Somebody's taking over. <laughs> That's what's going on here. Surrendering to the journey. Release control. It's time to let go. All is well. The creator is at your side. You don't have to do it alone. Your life is guided. This is not the time to try to control the details of your life. Just let it flow. And somebody's been trying to control. We have manipulation here big time. Okay, a lot of it. We have definitely have a lot of manipulation here. And somebody's deciding, you know, I'd rather go on my own. Anyway. This is not the time to try to control the details of your life. Let it flow. There are times to hold on, but this is a time to completely surrender. Surrender to the greater forces of the universe. Let go of wanting to control your future. Simply turn your challenges over to the spiritual source. And this is a free spirit. It is. Their creator will escort you on your journey. You will be escorted to start over. Okay, you're going to be escorted right into a new beginning. 
out of conflict. Surrendering is not giving up. You are not yielding to a force outside yourself. You're opening to your soul. That is truly what this is, too. By releasing hold, you allow the creative forces of the universe to spiral through you. I think I said something spiraling out of control. I believe I did. Which brings inspiration and direction into your life. Sometimes the journey goes a different way than expected. <laughs> Be prepared. When it does, don't resist. There are times you can see the path, but you don't know where it leads. Not knowing where you're going can activate inspiration, insight, and creative juices. You cannot discover new oceans in distant vistas unless you have the courage to let go of the shore. You don't have to do it all by yourself. Support is all around you. Simply open your heart and allow it in. So I really feel like there's going to be some sort of conflict that comes about that probably forces somebody to let go of control and move in a new direction, whether they like it or not. And this is a karmic situation. I think some karmic truth is going to be revealed that really pushes somebody over the edge. It's time to surrender. And let go. Let go of perhaps the facade, the lies, the deceit, the deception. It's time to be honest with yourself and accept the truth of whatever this is. Somebody's going to get the freaking truth. And it's probably going to hurt. But it's going to bring them abundance. Because this person is going to figure out what they're worth. And they're going to start to enjoy life again. And in the end, they're going to be grateful for this experience. And that's what I see. Good luck. <laughs>